everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, the 2023 Aprilia RSV4, get some carbon fiber accessories from Maxi Carbon from Italy. Here's our Italian postage. There is a carbon fiber chain guard, front hugger and rear hugger in this box. So why Maxi Carbon? Well, what I liked about Maxi Carbon is they're located in Italy. Their parts are manufactured there. Uh, from all indicators, they don't get things from China and stuff like that. It's all manufactured in Italy. Also, after speaking with the guys at AF1 Racing, if you own an Aprilia, then you probably know about AF1 Racing. They also recommended Maxi Carbon parts. They indicated that they generally fit very well, generally don't have quality issues and things like that. And they actually sell Maxi Carbon direct on their website. And normally I do only buy OEM carbon fiber on the Ducati. That's all OEM carbon. But the issue with Aprilia is the parts that I wanted to change to carbon fiber. Um, Aprilia OEM does not make the carbon parts for that. They make a front hugger and some other very small things. But the parts that I actually want to change, they're not available through um, OEM Aprilia. And I didn't want some Aprilia OEM carbon and aftermarket other parts. I kind of want to keep it all the same brand um, just for consistency. Of course, you know, two by two weave is, is all going to be pretty much the same, but sometimes there's a slight difference in the sheen and stuff like that. I'd rather keep it the same um, across the board as far as the carbon fiber goes. So landed on Maxi Carbon. They have a pretty wide line now. And again, it seems like their quality is pretty good, but We'll see today, we'll check out the fitment, we'll check out the overall quality and see if this is the right choice to make if you wanna put carbon on your RSV4. Here's a quick look at those carbon parts. We'll look at the really fine details here in just a second to check the quality, but overall, first impressions, pretty good. Pretty good finish, nice and smooth. I do notice on the inside, they cleaned up the inside of this as well, which I like. It looks like the edges are good as well. So first impressions, they look pretty, pretty good. Let's take a closer look. One of the things I notice is some of the lines are not totally straight. It's hard to see on camera, but I mean, not a, not a huge deal. They're not real crooked. I've seen some carbon parts where the lines are really bad and they're, they're real obvious on these parts. They're, they're relatively straight, um, but not, not perfect they're not uh again I'm, I'm comparing these to the oem ducati carbon and i i don't know who really makes the oem ducati carbon but those pieces are, are are really nice these are not quite there but they also you know they're not charging as as much as uh, as oem ducati either so you know we always have to keep that in mind as well so let's go ahead and get this install going let's see how everything fits and we're also going to weigh everything compared to the stock parts i'm sure there's not going to be much weight savings because the stock parts are just plastic, but they'll probably be a little bit. Okay. There we go. Here's the old next to the new. Going to be interesting trying to put that in because if you notice that stock plastic one, you actually have to squeeze it to get it out. So we'll see. Let's see what we have for weight. Okay, we got 8.6 ounces for the carbon version. Let's check out our plastic version. Okay, we're at 12.5. Oh, let me add these reflectors too. They don't weigh much, but okay, with the reflectors, 13.9. So as we suspected, some weight savings, but not a ton. All right, this is going to be interesting because we actually have to squeeze this to get it in there. So... Hopefully it doesn't break, hopefully. Oh my gosh, I do not like that at all. Okay. okay. Looks like it went in somehow without breaking. <laughs> The carbon chain guard and rear hugger on the scale we could see 11.4 ounces you'll notice this version is the two-piece version maxi carbon as well as other carbon manufacturers make a single piece version meaning the hugger and chain guard are all one piece reason why i didn't want to do that is because then you have to take the whole thing off if you want to remove just the chain guard if you have the two-piece version it probably weighs a little bit more but if you want to remove just the chain guard you can do that without taking off the rear hugger 
original plastic hugger and chain guard on the scale as you can see 14.1 ounces so a little bit of weight savings with the carbon but as we suspected not much got all of our carbon pieces on as you can see our front hugger is on it has a slight very 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 slight twist to it so the hugger is kind of sitting like this just very slightly really hard to notice but all the holes lined up really well and out back same goes here fit really nice really nice pieces you guys can see all the lines here line up very well line up nicely looks like our fit is very good again we kind of notice some of our lines are not totally straight but not a big deal even this little stay here for these lines fits really good and i've actually got these carbon pieces coming as well from maxi carbon i ordered it at the same time as everything else but uh, those are on back order so they're coming later but that is kind of the cool thing about maxi carbon is if you submit an order for four or five items they will send you the items that are in stock and if there's items that are back ordered they'll ship them for free when they become available so now that i've confirmed that the maxi carbon quality and finish overall fit is good i'm going to be ordering some more carbon from them I didn't want to order too much carbon fiber from them at once without first confirming that the quality is going to be acceptable. So now that we've confirmed that, I'm going to be ordering some more. I'm thinking about maybe going with carbon winglets, maybe carbon tail section, carbon belly pan. Um, I want to change maybe that carbon, uh, that kind of dash cover that goes over the, uh, the screen. Maybe I'll change that. But you guys let me know what, what you want to see. Of course, before I put the graphics kit on, I want to make sure I do all the body work first. So um, let me know what, what carbon parts I should do. I don't like putting too much carbon on a bike. I think it starts looking a little bit tacky when you do too much. I um, just want to keep it tasteful, just make it a little bit different than stock, but not, um, again, don't want to make it tacky before I put that graphics kit on it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you can, please like and subscribe going to be a lot more videos for the RSV4 coming up. There'll definitely be a carbon fiber accessory uh, episode part two, maybe even a part three. So we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining me.